Good morning, Jim McAvoy with Optima Batteries, live in my garage in Florida with a Group 25 Optima Red Top battery rated at 720 cold cranking amps. And I'm just going to take it over to the side here and show you the date code on this. The serial number is 9219. That means it was built on the 219th day of 2019. So this battery is about a half a year old. Hasn't been used yet. Again, it's rated at 720 cold cranking amps because people always ask about it because battery companies always tout cold cranking amps. So I'm going to load test this battery. Uh, 600, bump it up to 720. And it measures 12.85 volts, which is perfect. It's fully charged as it should be. It was sitting on a charger. It's never been used. We're going to load test this battery. Had some internet connection problems this morning, so I'm reshooting this video. And you can see 12.85 volts, 90% charged, because I've load tested it a few times. 862 cold cranking amps on a brand new battery that's rated at 720 cold cranking amps. So, under promise, over deliver, I'm going to take you out to a used that's in my 94 GMC Sierra. This is a different size battery. It's a group 3478. So physically, it's a little bit larger of a battery. Remember that other battery had, was rated at uh, 800 or 720 cold cranking amps. This one, if I turned around, is rated 800. And I've loosened this so I can show you the date code on this one, 8271. So this was built in 2018. Um, 271 is probably late September. I'm going to hook this up and load test this one now. And this battery has been sitting for a while because I don't have indoor storage for this truck. It's an outside truck, and I know you guys probably have some outside vehicles as well. And if you can't keep your vehicle maintained by driving it on a regular basis, I would say plug it in and, and you can't charge it like I can't run an extension cord you know all the way out to where I park the truck out in the field uh, top it off once a month with a charger that's good practice and, and it's about due because you can see the 12.29 volts that's not a fully charged battery um, so I'll charge this battery as soon as I get done with this video load test this one and again this is rated at 800 cold cranking amps and it measures 822. But you can see it's 12.29 volts, 62% state of charge. So this definitely needs to be charged, and I'll charge it. Uh, but even at a 62% state of charge, 822 cold cranking amps on a battery rated at 800 cold cranking amps. So um, especially in Florida, this truck's not going to need a lot of cold cranking amps because cold cranking amps are measured at zero degrees and it just doesn't get that cold here ever or even close to it so you don't have to buy over buy on cold cranking amps just get what the manufacturer recommends for your vehicle it's okay if it's a little bit over all of our batteries are a little bit over but you know if, if you're if you got a little 1.5 liter and it calls for you know 500 cold cranking amps you don't have to go out and get a thousand or 1200 cold cranking amp battery just you know get the one that fits the one that uh, the OE recommends size-wise, and you'll be in good shape. Now, there's going to be a link in the description for this video that uh, goes into more depth on cold cranking amps. If you'd like to read more about it, you can head over to the Optima Batteries website, and uh, we've got a great article on there that talks about how many cold cranking amps you need. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe. Keep